Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm back with another hair tutorial, but this time guys, I'm going to be making my very first frontal wig. I have never made a wig before in my life and I just feel like for a beginner, I'm so proud of the way it came out. Um, so the hair I'll be using today is from Ali Annabelle, which is an AliExpress vendor. You guys go check out my last review I did on their Ultimate Brazilian Straight Hair. The hair I'll be using today is their Brazilian Body Wave. It looks so beautiful in its natural state. But guys, I'm gonna lie to y'all. I did have a few problems with colouring this hair. It didn't bleach too well. It, it started to like steam and whatnot. But at the end of the day, but you know we made it we made it work okay so yeah i'm just starting off by bleaching the hair just to get it lighter so it can pick up the color very well and i'm using the adore uh, hair dye in cajun spice and paprika i mixed it together in that little pink container there um right in the corner there and um i am going to be um, spreading this evenly ac across the hair whilst the hair is damp the hair has to be damp uh so for this product to work because yeah it will just it will really be hard to like spread across the hair and now I'm just bleaching my the lace in my frontal just to get it lighter so that it can blend with my skin color better I can't lie I actually did this step because I was watching like a ton of online tutorials and now I'm just I have a curly needle and um, some thread just to you know start off by making my wig and what you will need is a wig cap um, a wig head and a wig stand I basically just used my uh what's that thing called ring light no not ring light my boombox stand I did not have a pole but if you have like a light ring light any type of stand you can just slump the <laughs> slump <laughs> stand you can just literally shove the uh, wig head on top of that stand just to make it like more convenient for you I haven't stitched down the lace frontal wig just yet I would have I was like literally measuring it how it you know how it would fit on my head and then I put two needles on the side to just make it sturdy in preparation for me to stitch it down and now we're just gonna start off by stitching everything down guys it took me like three hours like three god given beautiful hours of my life that I could have used to sleep or eat yeah making wigs then it's not fun I generally feel like some people enjoy it I'm not one of those people <laughs> but anywho it's quite simple to do so i do feel like instead of like spending a ton of money getting wigs made you could probably just sit down and uh, take your time because i did rush this because i just wanted to get it over and done with but take your time and you could probably just make your own wig and if you are interested in starting you know a wig making company you could probably do that because it's not that hard like look at that look look at that i did that mercy did that okay so um yeah after i've stitched everything on i'm going to just basically straighten the hair i'm using heat protector uh, and i'm using my remington straighteners to straighten it and now i'm just plucking the frontal uh, i plucked it whilst it was on the wig head and then i put it on my head and plucked it in areas that i feel like you know needed more plucking to fit my fat head shape uh just to let you guys know you have to be patient with plucking like yeah yeah it, it takes time and be careful not to like pluck over pluck and get bold spots but guys plucking you have to pluck a lot of hair like a lot of hair and now i'm just cutting some baby hairs uh you know at the front of the wig just to make it look realistic and so that i can slick it um this part i think i struggled with i think that that's the most part i struggled with but anywho yeah i made it work and now we're just using like mousse just to get the hair like flat and the baby hairs laid down and I use that scarf to press it all down and I'm using the got to be spray I first of all you just spray on your edges and then you blow dry it with the uh, a blow dryer duh <laughs> and the blow dryer has to be hot just to get the uh, the spray it's like a spray gel glue type of thing just to get it tacky and then you apply your lace and now I'm just slicking my edges with some gel or not my edges but you know the edges that came with the frontal just to make the hair look more realistic I can't lie I feel like I look like a, a Jamaican yardie like I feel like I look like a yardie with, <laughs> only because there's no like dark roots but I really didn't want like that dark roots look but you know, like I said we made it work girl <laughs> but uh yeah now I'm just using the scarf just to press down 
the you know fabricated edges you know and also to like make the hair flat because my stitchings were a bit bumpy I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm quite happy with the way the hair turned out. Um, this is my first attempt doing a frontal wig and actually making any type of wig myself. So I'm quite chuffed with the result. Um, I usually get a professional to make it, but I just thought to myself, let me just attempt, you know, try and see if I can do it myself. And I feel like with practice, um, I can actually maybe be near perfect. So yeah, instead of like forking out hundreds and just a lot of money to these hairdressers these days because they are charging a lot for frontal wigs um just attempt to do it yourself just watch a few tutorials and just imitate what they're doing it's not that hard um yeah and also take your time i, I kind of rushed this i can't lie but yeah this hair has been a bit difficult for me to work with um as soon as i bleached it it did like start getting a bit like frizzy and stuff you can probably tell now but um this hair is body wave that's probably why it's not straightening perfectly but it has been a bit difficult nonetheless coloring the hair so i wouldn't buy this hair to color i'll only buy it and just keep it in its natural state because that was beautiful but anyways if you guys have any questions about the hair or the hair color or just me making my wig um yeah anything just feel free to leave it in the comment section below and i'll be sure to get back to you don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys it's free join the family and also Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you later and God bless.